Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and get your moonshine ready, because today we got a bootlegger. Let's do it. In this box is a bootlegger base. Now, I've been very curious about these. I first discovered bootlegger guitars when I was scrolling through Reverb, and I reached out to them and I said, hey, would you be able to send me a bass so I can have a look? And they did, so that's what's in this box here. So this is not my bass, I'm not keeping this bass, I'm gonna be returning it after I do a full review, but I need to disclose that I need to let you know that this is not my bass and I received this for review, however, I do not get paid for my reviews, I do not accept money from manufacturers or vendors or anything like that to review a bass. So, so this is a retail example. If you go and buy one of these basses online, you should be getting the same experience that I'm getting here. Now I wanted to check this bass out for a couple of reasons. First, the headless bass market is very polar in my opinion. On one side you have the really cheap and in my opinion not so great basses like the Steinberger Spirit and the Bryce examples with either low quality construction or electronics or hardware or all of the above. And then on the other hand you have basses like the Ibanez EHB, the other Ibanez EHB, and th there's probably others out there as well, but higher end headless basses, which have great quality hardware, great quality electronics. However, they are a bit expensive at over $1,000 US. Where's the middle ground? Where's something that's high quality, but doesn't necessarily have all the bells and whistles of the Ibanez EHB, uh, but still has quality construction and electronics. That's when I took a look at Bootlegger and I'm like, hmm, the construction looks pretty nice. I've never heard of these electronics, but they look standard sized. Why don't we have a look at one of those and see what they're all about? So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's get started. You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. Okay, so what we have here is a really nice hard case. These are not big basses, so the case is more guitar size than bass size, but let's go ahead and open her up, see what we got. I have no idea what's gonna be in here. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay. Here she is. Here it is. And the back. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Okay. So your arm rests here, this cutaway, your leg goes right there and That's really comfortable. Okay. I see what this is about. Looks like it takes regular strings and not the proprietary double ball strings that you need to get for the Steinbergers, unless you get a conversion kit. So that is cool. Uh, regular headless hardware looks to be lined up well. These look to be DC sized electronics, so the control cavity looks big enough, you could probably fit a battery in there potentially if you wanted to go the EMG route, plug and play, if you wanted to upgrade those, but we have no idea how this sounds out of the box though. Let's go ahead and tune her up, plug her in, and see what this bass sounds like. Okay, we are all tuned up. So it looks like we have a volume, volume, tone set up here. Yep, volume, volume, tone. Traditional setup, two pickups, three knobs, three controls. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
Not too bad, not too bad. I am really digging this construction a lot, honestly. Like, the neck through and the finish is really, really solid. Uh, the bridge hardware is okay. It's a little stiff, but again, it's nothing that feels cheap. Uh, like, the, the Bryce stuff actually broke when I was tuning it up. And the Steinberger stuff, though terrible, again, was probably just the strongest part of that particular instrument, because everything else, in my opinion, was not great. This, however, feels quite well balanced in terms of uh, what you're getting for your money. The electronics sound great. They're quiet as well. I have both pickups on, but let's go ahead and uh, go over just to the neck pickup. No noise. These are both humbuckers. And let's go ahead and switch over to the bridge pickup. Okay, let's go ahead and put both pickups back together, the tone on full, and let's see how she slaps. <laughs> okay, okay, I see what this is about. I like this ergonomic design a lot, much better than the Steinberger. This is making all the right contact points with my body when I'm sitting playing without a strap. I'm able to rest my arm here. It has a nice leg support right here, and I'm able to easily access the entire neck. So this is a well thought out and well constructed base that I am actually quite impressed with. I'm gonna be doing a full review on this instrument and uh, we'll be stringing it up with some MJC Ironworks nickel plated stainless steel, 45 to 105 strings that I have, and uh, we'll be taking this through its paces. So be sure to check out that full review coming in the near future. But until then. <laughs> Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the Bootlegger Ace 4 String. And be sure to keep an eye out for my full review. And as always, until we groove again.